Hey YouTubers, uh, this is the Fishing Educator. We are now going to do the second video of a three-part series. This is going to be the installation of the Trollomatic onto my outboard. Uh, this is my Honda outboard engine. We are going to take this plate right here and we are going to mount it uh, and set it um, right here on the outboard engine. Uh, let me show you one thing that you can get. This is from uh, trollomatic.com. You can actually get a uh, mock-up of the actual dimensions, measurements uh, for your particular outboard to make sure that it fits. So this one will fit on mine and we're going to use that. Uh, again, before making a decision, you may want to check that out. Uh, but this is the plate that needs to go on here. So let me show you what we're going to do with this. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll edit that all out at the end. Right. Okay. So this is going to be, you're, you're doing this on purpose, so it's a blooper, so you can put it at the end. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. Uh, I've got a couple of C-clamps that I have actually fastened this to. Um, as you are lining this up, the important thing to remember here is that you are equidistant from here on this side as to this side over here. You want to get this as close as possible. Uh, I'm actually going to eyeball this. Uh, I'm sure there's some of you that would do something different. This is what I'm going to do for my engine. If you have a little bigger engine, this fin will probably stick out a little bit further and you might need to do something a little bit different. But for my purposes, uh, this is the same measurement on this side as it is on this side with a couple of C-clamps. And then what you're looking for is up underneath here, uh, make sure that your two holes that you have are exposed. So what we are going to use, you'll see one, two, one, two, three, and then four. And then what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a Sharpie. Uh, I've already tested the Sharpie on this engine. It shows up really good. I just want to make sure that I can get in there with a fine uh, point on there and get those marked. So we will come up underneath here and we will mark our spots. One, two, And then three and four over here. Get three and four there. Okay. Three. And four. Okay. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, you'll see the four holes have been marked real clearly here. One, two, three, and four. I have a nail I'm going to actually set. Uh, I just like to, with my bits, when I'm using a bigger drill bit, I like to set the uh, mark first so that the drill bit will hold in there and it's not moving around on the actual plate. So we'll start with this one here. I'm just going to tap it a couple times. One. Quite difficult to see, but there is just a little mark there. Get in the center there. Two, three, and four. Now you could take the prop off if you wanted to, and certainly uh, we may end up doing that, but for right now, I do have my four punch holes in there, and so we will now proceed with drilling the holes. Okay, we're gonna start now drilling our holes. So we'll begin with each four of the holes, finding that little groove, and here we go. Start out slow. Second one.
there's two. And for the last two, we're going to have to take the prop off again. If you wanted to do this at the very beginning, you could do that. But uh, there's a cotter pin right here. You want to make sure that you bend that back. And it's just a safety feature that is there. And then grab, I'll make sure it is. You get, I'm going to kind of put some torque on it to get it out of there, but you're going to want to grab the other end there and pull that puppy through, set that aside. We are then going to want to take, uh, this is a 15th, 16th inch socket that will fit over the top. What I like to do here is take the prop and go in the kind of the opposite direction here. And that should easily come off. Maybe a little too easy. Might need that. that cotter pin will protect it though from flying off. You want to have that and then pull your prop out. There'll be a little washer there, but if you keep everything intact and just set it down real gently, you should be in good shape. So we'll save that. Then we'll go back to our drill. And it's a quarter ounce drill bit. And we're going to finish with the last two holes here. If I wasn't so shaky, it wouldn't be so bad, but I'd rather take my time and get it right. Then on the other side, last one. Take your time. Measure twice, cut once, as they say in this case. Measure twice, drill once. Also recommend using a new drill bit. Just makes the job easier and you get it done. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, prop back on. So again, I can... Just assemble that right over the end there. Make sure that is seated in there properly. Down in there. Put your nut back on. Go ahead and tighten up your bolt. Take your cotter pin. We'll make sure it's lined up. I just have a light here. Let me back that out just a little bit. You can make sure that those holes line up. Tighter. It's difficult to see, but you'll see there the hole needs to line up so the cotter pin will fit through. So put that cotter pin through, put the short end up. There's a longer end and a shorter end there. And then take the shorter end. You've got a new cotter pin. Some people put a new cotter pin in here, but I ain't got time for that. Bend that back. So you know that bolt will not come off. That is in really good shape. And now we're going to do the install of the bracket and the trollomatic. All right. Um, you will see here I've got the four screws put in. And we're going to take a 7 16 and just tighten these up in the holes. Again, this is kind of snug, but that's what we want. We'd rather have it snug. You'll do that for each one of the four. 
I'm recommending that you do a little bit at a time, just like your daddy taught you back in the day. Don't do one all the way, do a little bit. And get those snug as a bug in a rug. All right, so we're gonna finish up now by just tightening these up. See all four bolts are in there secure and we're ready to go. Um, last thing we're going to do is up underneath here. Um, we have actually already done this, but you're gonna add the washer first, then the actual nut uh, for one, two, and then you can see over on the other side, you can see three and four. And so you just want to make sure that you have that tightened up with your ratchet on the top. Don't want this thing to come off. So um, get it good and snug on there and good and tight. Now let's do this bottom one here. Just kind of again, just to reiterate and get that nice and tight. Don't want that to come off at all. Okay. And that is the installation of the Trollomatic. Be sure to subscribe to my videos to see more videos like this and fishing and trolling all throughout the southeast and the Midwest. Uh, fishing for smallmouth, walleye, smallmouth bass. I said smallmouth, uh, largemouth, you name it. Uh, fishing educator right here. Trollomatic, be sure to subscribe and check out my last video as we're going to put this in the water and just see how the performance of the Trollomatic does. So have a great day, everyone.